starting lineup. First for North Judson, they have a record of 1-19. and 19. At one guard will be a 5'10 sophomore, Caleb Ferretti. The second guard, a 5'10 freshman, Chucky Wilcox. The third guard will be a 5'8 senior, Jordan Darnell. At one forward, a 6-foot senior, Caden Shepard. And the other forward will be a 6'1 freshman, Caden Benson. For the Rochester Zebras, at one guard will be a 5'9 senior, Alec Holland. The other guard, a 6'3 sophomore, Jordan Reinholdt. At one forward, a 5'11 senior, Wilson Lee. The other forward, 6'2 junior, Ben Perez. And in the middle of the night for the Zebras, 6'4 senior, Gavin Bennett. Rochester coach from Mr. Rex Reinhold. Randy Wynn, I'm David Muscle in the final game of the regular season. Rochester will be in the road blacks. The North Judson Blue Jays will be in their home white. Rochester will go to our right. Obviously, Judson to our left. And I tell you what, I am really excited to see what not only Gavin Bennett can do tonight, but what he can do against the bigs of Oak Hill on Wednesday because he had a monster game on Saturday night. Yeah, he did. He, Gavin played really well and, and uh, dominated the inside post and just... Uh, He's come a long way, and he's coming, and he's speaking now at the right time. Yeah, Benson and Bennett to jump center. Ball is up, and we're going to read jump. <laughs> neither, neither one of them touched the basketball, and the first one to touch it both on the ground was Gavin, and that's a no-no. This time the ball is up, and tip control by the Zebras. Holland with the basketball works against the man-to-man -man defense. Works the left wing. I believe it's a triangle and two. Oh, by the way, right hole, top of the key. Right side of Ben Perez, now to Holland. Alec with the basketball on the right wing. To Perez, caught the lead. I think it's a yeah, triangle it's, it's and two. triangle and two with Holland and uh, Reinhold being the uh, two that are being chased. Lee, three, right wing. In and out, no good. Bennett with the rebound. He rises up. His no good. He gets the shot blocked. Ball loose on the floor. He picks it up in the lane. Going to be fouled in the inside. And it's going to be Rochester basketball to bounce baseline right. I thought he was fouled on the way up. Yeah, it looked like it. But... Uh, Guess that's he why I'm here and they're there, huh? Fouls on Freddy, his first team first of the half. Wilson Lee, baseline, uh, baseline right, will look to trigger it in for the Zebras. No score here, 30 seconds gone in the opening quarter. Lee, bounce pass into Holland in the right corner. Alec dribbles away from the defense, pulls up from 15 feet, no good. And the offensive rebound to Reinhold, over the top to Holland. No look pass, down low to Ben Perez. Ben Perez puts it in for five feet, too hard over the rim, no... No touching of the uh, metal, and it's picked up by the Jays. Darnell lobs it to Wilcox. He jump, his jump over Perez goes in. And it's two to nothing, North Judson. Zebras are gonna have to uh, set some screens and get uh, Reinhold and, and Holland open uh, if they expect to uh, get anywhere. Ball down low to Perez, kicks it out to Lee. Now top to Holland. Quickly to Reinhold, down low to Perez. He puts it in for two, Ben Perez. Puts the Zebras on the board with a minute 15 gone in the first quarter. We're tied at two. And that time they went to a trap instead of the triangle and two. So Judson looked like they're going to switch defenses several times down the floor. Rochester now in a 2-3 zone. Wilcox left wing. Top to Darnell. Swings right side to Peretti. Peretti back to Darnell. Fought about a long three. Passed it up. Now to Wilcox. Over the top to, Darn uh, to Darnell. Now top of the key three for North Judson. In and out. No good. Gavin Bennett grabs the board. Knocks Perez down in the meantime. And gives to Reinhold. To Holland. Quick three. Left wing on the way. No good. Short. And the rebound is going to be tipped out of bounds by Gavin Bennett. It'll go back to North Judson. That's time Alec got a quick look on the uh, fat, quick, fast break. Getting the ball up. And uh, able to get a look before the defender came out on him. But uh, in and out. Running River score. Eighth grade game. Rochester leads McConaughey 18 to 6 midway through the third. Be nice that both the seventh and eighth grade will be playing Saturday at Wabash. Okay, Wabash. Justin with the basketball going to our left. Darnell top of the key sends right side to Shepard. Shepard baseline pass to Benson back to Shepard top of the key to Darnell. Darnell over the top of the defense to Peretti back to Darnell top of the key. Thought about a three, pass it up back to Peretti. Now to Shepard feeds down low to Benson tries to back his way in over Bennett throws up a shot no good. Right hook clears the board. Jordan rips and runs for the Zebras. We're tied at two with 5.45 to play. First quarter, right side of Lee. Lee looking down low to Perez. Good defense on the uh, defending the entry pass by Shepard. And now to Holland on the right baseline. Holland, wraparound pass to right hole. Underhanded pass to Bennett. Rises up. Shot the window is good. Gavin Bennett has his first two of the game, and Rochester up 4-2. to Good luck that time on the opposite block. Uh, they double-teamed Reinhold. Ball almost stolen. Ball is loose. Justin kicks it around. It comes up with a loose basketball. Now Darnell in the center circle. Works right side to Peretti. Back to Darnell. In the middle to Shepard in the paint. 
Shepard outside to Darnell. Long three for the Jays. Straight away is good. And North Judson up five to four. Five minutes to play in the first quarter. Lee, left wing, bounce pass to Bennett. Bennett goes to the basket hard. His layup from the left side is good. Rochester up six five. He was in the middle of that triangle that time, and uh, Bennett was able to penetrate in there and got the layup. I got a feeling, unless they did change, it's going to be there all night. <laughs> Baseline pass to Benson over on the double team to Wilcox. Top to the right side of Peretti. Freddie behind the arc, gives baseline to Benson. Lob pass down low to Shepard. His layup on the way is no good. But I believe Wilson Lee is going to pick up the foul, which is going to send Caden uh, Shepard to the line to shoot two for North Judson. It is Lee's first, team first. 439 to play, first quarter. Rochester leads 6-5. to five. And Shepard, the six-foot senior at the line for North Judson for two. Right-handed free throw just barely draws the front of the rim. No good. He'll have one more. Randy went on David Musselman. Final game of the regular season. Rochester drew Oak Hill in the, uh, well, I guess we're going to call it second round, aren't we? Uh, it would be sure. Manchester sectional. Sure. Yeah, second night. Second night, second game. So, yeah. Second free throw good by Shepard. We're tied at six. 4.35 to play, first quarter. Rochester gets it across the timeline to Bennett. Underhand pass to Lee, top of the key. Lee drives it to the right side. Now back left wing, pass to Bennett. Stands about five feet behind the arc in the left wing. Over the top to Lee. Tips the basketball, stays in going out of bounds. Right into the hands of Darnell and Judson. Blue Jays running to our left. Darnell carries the basketball, no call. Out to Shepard. Three, right wing for the Jays. It's no good. And the rebound is knocked out of bounds by Darnell. It's going to go back to Rochester. I'm sorry, that was Freddy. Yeah. 4.09 to play. First quarter, we're tied at six. Here in North Justin, San Pierre High School. Ball gets across the timeline to Lee. Now to Bennett. Back to Lee, high on the left side. Wilson Lee holds the basketball. Justin still in that triangle at two. Pull up jumper from the free throw line. Goes for Alec Holland. His first two of the game, and Rochester back up by two at eight to six. There was a screen. Got him a good screen off that, and uh, was able to hit the shot off the top and do that several times. They're going to have to think about a different defense. Darnell to Peretti on the right wing. Gives him the right elbow to Shepard on the baseline to Benson. Out to Peretti. Quickly to Darnell. Long three for the Jays. No good off the side of the rim. And it goes out of bounds. Rochester going to get it back. Three to half to play first quarter. Up by two. Randy went on David Musselman. And North Judson will send in a sub. Number 32, uh, Elsie. Elsie comes in for North Judson. A six-foot senior for the Jays. Rochester, the basketball, going to our right. Right hole through the center circle. Rift to the right side. Picks up his dribble. Bounce pass to Perez. Left side to Lee. Baseline to Holland. Three for the senior on the way. Off the top of the backboard. No good. But Bennett there with the rebound. Jump pass out to Ryan Holt. He'll fire a three from the right baseline. It's short. Rebound taken away by North Judson. Wilcox left side of the floor. Off his foot. Ball loose. Picks it up. Outside to Darnell. Right side to Shepard. Lee to Elsa. He'll fire a three. Nope. Wilson Lee with the rebound. Lee rips and runs for the Zebras, going to our right, through the center circle, under three to play in the first quarter, right side of Reinhold, Rochester leads 8-6, bounce pass to Bennett, he runs over the defender, rises up, puts the high off the glass and in, probably got away with um, a charge, yeah. and Bennett has six of the 10, with 2.40 to play in the first quarter, 2-3 zone by the Zebra defense, Darnell left side to Elsa, back to Darnell, top of the key, works to the right wing to Wilcox. Jump pass to Darnell, top of the key, now left side to Shepard in the paint to Wilcox. His turnaround jumper is too hard, and his gonna knock, basketball is knocked out of bounds by Wilcox. He'll go back to the Zebras. Yeah, he felt out a little bit as he tried to jump up over Reinhold to knock it out of bounds. He kind of cut himself in el an elbow. <laughs> Eighth grade girls basketball team up at the end of 3, 28 to, uh, 26 to 8 over the mechanical brace. Should be able to cruise in the fourth now. Is that Rochester Middle School tonight? Yeah. Oh, is that the middle school? It is, yep. Perez, right side of Reinhold, 2.15 to play, first quarter, Rochester by four. Holland to Lee. Lee, top of the key, gives back door to Reinhold. Pass back, is batted away, and stolen by North Judson. Now Darnell pushes to the left, high on the right side. Shepard, left side to Elsa, drives the baseline, fouled by Reinhold on the block. That's going to be out of bounds to North Judson, baseline left. Going to be Jordan Reinhold's first team, second. And it looks like Trevor Thomas, the 5'10 junior, will come in for the first time, and Wilcox will come out. Under two to play, first quarter. Rochester leading 10-6. And Brett Abbott will come in for the first time for the Zebras tonight. Brett Abbott, a 6'1 senior for the Zs, and he'll replace Gavin Bennett. Working awfully hard as that young man. Bennett, well-deserved ref. Yep. Six to the 10. 
Under two to play. Bounce pass to Elsa. He puts it in. Foul on the shot. He'll go to the lane to shoot two. Looks like a travel there. I, I think that's exactly what Coach Reinhold's saying. He took the fit in the NBA. He can't take three steps. Ben Perez picks up his first team third. And Coach Reinhold questioning the official about the uh, NBA play. Elsa at the line to shoot two for the Blue Jays. Rochester by four. First one away is good. Good-looking stroke by the senior. He'll have one more. And about that quick, Gavin Bennett will come back into the game. And Wilson Lee will sit down. About a 10-second uh, ten, ten break for uh, yeah, not much. Bennett on the clock. A little hugger now. Yeah, it's, a little, it's warm. It's a little warm. But look, if I'm saying it's warm, it's Yeah, but it's you're warm. sitting in there in 14 layers. So. The free throw is no good by Elsa Abbott with a rebound. A minute 50 to play. Abbott goes coast to coast. Jump stop in the paint. Outside to Bennett. Now gives to Reinhold left wing. Top to Holland. Alec. Nice hefty move by Alec Holland, letting that thing go in the backcourt before he tried to pick it up. Because if he'd have picked it up there, it would have been over and back for sure. And in the meantime, he picks up a loose ball, and then Justin was whistled for a foul. Dornell picks up his first team second. Wilson Lee will come back in the next dead ball. Abbott gets the inbound pass from Holland. Fred Abbott works the point through the center circle, going to our right, 100 seconds to play first quarter. Abbott high on the left side, gives to Reinhold now. Reinhold. Baseline to Holland, fakes the three, drives the baseline, down low to Bennett, jump pass to Perez through his hands and picked up by Shepard and Blue, North Justin. Blue Jays run to our left. Darnell, right side of Elsa. Boy, he's got a quick first step, has it blocked away or stripped away from behind. They're going to say last touch by Elsa. All righty. Okay. He's got Reinhold. to close the first step. <laughs> Excuse me, I thought Reinhold knocked it out now of bounds. Too. But, okay. So back into the game is Lee. Press it. Yeah. Yep. Minute 20 to play. First quarter, Rochester up 10-7. Abbott walks it up the floor. Right wing pass to Lee. Gives to Reinhold the right elbow. Dribbles away from traffic. Spin move against the triple team. Gives to Bennett. Bennett loses the handle. Ball still loose from the floor. Darnell picks it up. Darnell, cross lane pass to Elsa. His layup is good. And he's still down. He hit the floor hard. I think he came on his elbow. Yeah, hit the floor hard. He's up. Holding his right elbow. You're right. Boy, this, that young man is an athlete. Yeah. I'm not sure why he's not in the starting lineup, but it, he is an athlete. 57.7 to play in the first quarter. Rochester lead down to one. Abbott crosses the timeline left. Goes to the left elbow. Ball knocked away. So save from going out of bounds by Justin. Picked up by Rochester. Spin at right elbow. Travels. Yep. Turn number five. Right now, just going, trying to go too fast. Yeah. 47 seconds to play first quarter. Rochester up 10-9. Darnell walks the ball up. Then Perez will come in in the next opportunity. Through the center circle, Darnell. High on the near side. Thompson. And his pass is stolen by Holland. He'll walk in for the right-handed layup, and it's good. 12-9. 30 seconds to play in the first quarter. Rochester up. Well, I thought Blue Jays were going to be content for the last shot, yep. but uh, Alec had another plan. Jumper down low by Benson goes in. Nice entry pass by Shepard. And Rochester lead down to one. It was 17 seconds. Lee. Bounce pass to Reinhold with 13. Jordan works to the right with nine. In the corner to Abbott with seven. Right wing now with six. Long jumper for Brett is good. And that's a three. With two, with one. Three-quarter court shot by Darnell. The buzzer is no good. After one, Rochester by four, 15 to 11. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI. here at North Gustin St. Pierre High School. We're going to the second quarter with the Rochester Zebras leading 15 to 11. 
Well, it wasn't pretty in that first quarter, but Rochester did get out of the uh, after the first period with the lead. It did. We haven't been at leading away with six points, and Alec Holland chipped in four of those 11, or of the 15. I'm surprised a little bit. Maybe Rochester is too, that uh, they started, North Jefferson started in that triangle in two to start yeah. the game. They did, and maybe, maybe it did throw them. I don't know. I don't know what the... They've seen them on tape, but they've done it before. But uh, that first quarter usually takes a little bit of getting used to it. Yeah. Get the screen set, get everybody in the right spot. Rochester will start the second quarter defensively in the man-to-man. -man. Darnell, left wing, thought about a three, passed it up, works against Holland. Darnell down to Benson against Perez. Benson, turn around, baby hook. Good looking shot by the freshman, and it goes in. He faked left, went back to the right, and put her in for two. Nice looking shot. Yeah, he looked like a senior on that move. Yeah. 30 seconds gone, Rochester lead down to two. Ryan Holt, back to Perez, down low to Bennett, back to Perez, right wing. Looking back door to Brian Holt. His floater lane is short, picked up by Shepard. Justin with the basketball, going to our left. Darnell with the ball, working against Holland. Now right side to Thomas, back to Darnell. Darnell runs the point for the Jays on the right wing, picks up his dribble. Now top of the key to Shepard. Shepard back to Darnell, feeds down low to Benson and loses it through his hands. He had a great steal on Ben Perez, but just lost the entry pass out of bounds as they go back to Rochester. Yeah, he was ready to go you know, make a big move on that yeah. uh, on that move one as well, but uh, I think he did the move before he caught the ball. Minute gone, second quarter, Rochester up 15-13. Collins to Lee, left side of Perez, behind the arc on the left wing, Ben holds, bounce pass to Reinhold. Lot pass to Lee in the paint. Lee, step back jumper at the elbow is good. He is money from that distance. Yeah. First point for Wilson Lee. Rochester back up by four with six and a half to play in the first half. And again, he got the look because he's the one that set the screen and then rolled off that screen. Yeah. And was able to get that open pass. Darnell, long three for the Jays. is off the mark, no good. And a rebound to Rochester's Holland. And I believe they're going to get Peretti for climbing the back. And that'll be his second. So he'll probably come out here pretty quick. Elsa coming back, and along with Wilcox, Peretti, and Shepard to come out. Randy Wynnum, David Musselman, final game of the regular season. Rochester will end it here at North Judson, and of course next Wednesday we'll be at Manchester and play Oak Hill in the second game of the Wednesday night doubleheader. And believe it or not, you'd think it'd be our last game, be senior night here. It's not. They play again Saturday night at home. Really? We luck out no senior night. Bennett rises up, puts it in for two. <laughs> And he's got 8 of 19. It's 19-13. Rochester, two minutes gone in the second quarter. Darnell, what are we doing? Holland kicks the basketball. No call. Ben Perez goes in for the right-handed layup. It's no good. The putback by Bennett is good. What was, what was that? I have no idea what he was trying there. And they hadn't even thought of the not clock like yet because he hadn't touched it. It's not like he tried to go out of bounds and was, couldn't yeah. be the first one in. I don't know what that was. Thomas, top of the key, Dar Dar Darnell between the rings of the volleyball line. Pass to Elsa. His 19-footer is good. That young man's got a stroke. Eighth grade win tonight, 37 to 10. They'll move on to the uh, Saturday around at Wabash. Eighth grade win earlier. 20, uh, so the seventh grade one earlier, 22 to 13. Darnell picks the pocket of the Zebras to Thomas. Right corner to Wilcox. Three is good. I don't think you want to leave him wide open. Nope. 21-18, Rochester lead down to three with five minutes to play in the first half. Holland high on the left side to Reinhold. Law pass to Bennett, back to the way in. Out to Reinhold, three right wing for the Zebras. It's good, barely moves with that. And the Zebras back up 24-18. to Jordan with his first point. That's a good, look, good, yeah. good looking shot too for Jordan in rhythm. Came off the screen, of course they're in a 2-3 now, so they're able to... Uh, Find that open spot. Wide open as Elsa down low. Rochester lost contained. And Elsa put it in for two. He's got at least six. He's got uh, seven. Abbott to Lee. Back to Bennett. Bennett jumps top in the paint. Down low to wide open press. He puts it in for two. And now Benson comes up hobbling on that right leg. And now Justin will use a 30-second timeout. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI. <laughs>
25 to play in the first half. Rochester leads 26 to 20 here in North Justin St. Pierre High School. And after the North Justin timeout, Blue Jays will have it. will bring it up the floor. Here comes the half-court trap. Jacob Nye in the game for the first time tonight for the Zebras. Darnell gets it across to Thomas, to Shepard. Shepard cross lane pass to Elsie. Layup is good. Elsie, I beg your pardon. Elsie's got uh, nine now. Nye, cross-court pass to Abbott. Right block. Put the ball on the floor against a double team to Bennett. Bennett rises up. Reverse layup is good for two more. Give him 12. Just give him the ball. Every trip, yeah. give him the ball. 345 to play in the first half. 12 to 28. You're crazy not to go through him at least. <laughs> Thomas right wing. Down low to Shepard. Shepard travels. And is going to give it back to Rochester. Tried to pick it up on the left block. Come from the right block. Tried to pick it up on the left and just couldn't grab it. Turnover number five. 339 to play first half. Rochester by six at 28-22. Nye now will run the point. As now North Justin will be in a half-court trap. Nye bounce pass to Reinholt. Jordan back to Nye. Over the top to Be uh, Abbott. Again had to rise up tall and grab that loose basketball. To Bennett. Cross lane pass to Wilson Lee. And he's fouled on the shot. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Foul is going to come against the Blue Jays. Let's see, in 10, that's Thomas, his first team fourth. And like you said, Wilson Lee at the line to shoot two, where he already has two points for his first free throws of the night. Ben Perez will come back in after the first free throw. And Alec Collins. Couldn't even see Alec down there. Yeah. <laughs> Alec is back in, and Jacob Knight comes out, and Ben Perez will uh, replace Wilson Lee if... He can hit this freebie. Benson will come back in for the Blue Jays. Well, I saw that half-court trap. Coach Reynolds uh, knowing get the ball handler back in on the on the floor. And now it's coming yeah. back in if they're going to half-court trap, take care of the ball. Lee with one more looking to push this lead to eight. And he does so with two freebies. He'll come out and get a blow. And Ben Perez will come back in. Randy went on David Musselman. Four big points for Wilson Lee in the first half. 30-28. Rochester up. And Wilson Lee with... He is. Coach Malco saying showing off. He must have had him in the shed earlier in the week. <laughs> Outside the Shepherd. Just he's present here. Yeah, that's probably yeah. right. Down Darnell pass uh, is kicked by Holland, and it will stay with uh, North Justin baseline right. 3:09 to play, first half. Zebras by eight. So since the eighth grade game's over, does that mean our listenership went up? Uh, uh, yep. Or went down. Probably. <laughs> Darnell, three, right wing, no good. Rebound tipped, a, tipped around, and Bennett's going to be called for climbing the back of Benson. And it's going to be out of bounds to Judson with three minutes to play, first half. Rochester by eight. Bennett picks up his first team, number four. That's a call over the back, I think, when you out jump somebody. And that's exactly what Coach <laughs> Reinhold talk, talking to him yeah, about. Yeah, and he stands a foot taller than him to start with. Right. Wilcox, left wing. Jump pass in the corner to Darnell. Darnell for three again for the Jays. This time is good. Second three of the night. You give him that much time to look at it like a free throw, yeah. he's going to knock her down. He's got six, two threes. Have it on the right wing. Lee will come back in. Reinhold left side to Lee, or make that to Holland. And Holland leaves Perez just a bit too much. The ball goes out of bounds. And he's going to go back to the Jays. Wilson Lee will come back in. Reinhold will come out. Turnover number seven on the Zebras. 2.40 to play in the first half. Rochester up 30-25. to It'll be Blue Jay basketball going to our left. Darnell will hand off to Thomas, and he'll now run the point for North Justin. Thomas right of the center circle, now in the middle of the center circle. Works to the volleyball line. Jump stop to Darnell in the center circle. Darnell left side to Wilcox. In the paint to Shepard. To Benson, his shot blocked. Darn uh, did Shepard have been better off just taking that shot from 10 feet. Yeah, he was wide open there. Abbott right baseline. Hesitates, accelerates around the defense. Out to Wilson. His jumper from the free throw line is no good. Bennett with the rebound. The putback is short. Gets his no rebound. And he's fouled on the shot. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Looks like uh, Shepard going to pick up his first. And that'll be the team fifth. 2.07 to play in the first half. Bennett got 12. His first trip to the free throw line tonight. Rochester by five. We haven't been at the line to shoot two. No dribble. Fires the first one. Yipper. Yipper's been there four times after this next one. To the free throw line? Yeah. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Huh. 
Abbott's second one, or makes Bennett's second one, I beg your pardon, no good. Rebound to North Justin. Now Darnell pushes. Darnell, left side to Shepard, back to Darnell. Fought about a three at the volleyball line, now to Thomas. Back to Darnell between the ring. Rochester in the two, three zone. Thomas, three, left side, good. And now Rochester lead down to three with a minute 45 to play in the first half. Rochester makes a little run, and every time, Justin answers. Yeah, they're just good enough. You let them stick around, they're, they're going to cause problems. Confidence is building, that's yeah. for sure. Entry pass to Bennett. Foul on the shot. He'll go back to the line to shoot two. That was even against the double team. And that one was also on Shepard, his second. Caden Shepard. And team six. Bennett with 13 points so far. Gavin's first one. Nope. Nye back into the game. And Ben Perez to sit down. Healthy back in for North Judson. And Shepard will sit. Randy went on David Musselman, 95 seconds to play. In the first half, Rochester by three. Second for Bennett, who's better this time. And it's 32-28. Elsie coming in there, he's got nine. Yeah, I, I, I like him. I don't know if he's always been a bench player or not, but uh, I like what he brings to the floor. Darnell hands off to Wilcox. Dribbles to the left wing. Now to Elsie, first step to a killer. And he's going to be fouled on the shot by Bennett. Number two for Bennett. Team fifth. Elsie, a six-foot senior. Born with Justin. And Bennett's going to be done for the rest of the half. He's got two fouls now. And Jordan Reinhold is going to check in. Then he came back to dad. Now he's going to check in. <laughs> First one for Elsie is short. He'll have one more. So Reinhold back in, and Bennett will be uh, done for the half. Minute 20 to play, first half. Rochester up 32-28. Ben Perez coming back into the game. And Abbott will sit down. Reinhold and Perez both with uh, one foul. They want to be careful here in the next minute 20. They don't pick up that second one. Get through the half with just one. Elsie with one more for the Jays. Eyes it, flies it, and buys it. 32-29. Minute 20. Left in the first half. Reinhold to Lee. Lee picks up his dribble. Now to Nye high on the left side. Nye holds against the man-to-man -man defense. Now to Holland. Holland back to Lee, top of the key. Looks back door to Reinhold. Jump pass down loose, taken away by North Judson's Darnell. Take that shot. Elsie loses the basketball. Holland stays him going out of bounds. Now gives it to Reinhold, he pushes. Reinhold left side of the floor, hesitates. Pull up jumper from 10 feet, is short. And Perez with the rebound. Perez over the top of the key to Reinhold with 48. Now back to Nye on the right corner. Nye dribbles to the wing behind the arc with 43. Holland thinks about a three, drives, loses the handle, picks it up on the paint. His jumper on the way is good off the back of the rim, and it goes down. 34-29, Rochester, 30 seconds to play, first half. Darnell and the Blue Jays will look for the final shot of the period. Darnell through the center circle. Works left wing to Thomas. Down to 23 seconds. Thomas, right side to Elsie with 20. Elsie high on the right side with 18. Left side to Wilcox with 15. Wilcox against Lee over the top of the defense to Darnell with 12. Darnell with his heels on the circle, with, holds with eight, gives it to Thomas with seven. Thomas, right side to Darnell with five. He drives it right with three and has a basketball knocked out of bounds by Rochester with 2.8. It'll stay with North Justin, baseline right. Rochester up 34-29 as we approach halftime. 2.8 seconds to play in the second quarter. Wilcox looks to trigger this one in baseline right. He'll try to get it around Lee. Wilcox looking. Bounce pass to Benson's knocked out of bounds by the Zebras. 1.9 now. Reinhold able to get a hand in there, luckily, because uh, uh, Benson was wide open there on an easy layup. Yeah, you're right. Baseline left is Wilcox. 1.9 to play first half. Wilcox looking. Lobs in over the defense to Darnell. Fall away three from 35 feet is no good. At halftime, the Zebras lead 34-29. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI. <laughs> going to the third quarter, the Zebras will start the basketball going to our left with their original five. Lee in the... Baseline to Holland, his three is off the back of the rim, no good. Darnell with a rebound, he rips and runs. Ahead to Wilcox, right-handed layup off the window is no good. Too hard, and Lee with a rebound. Perez just able to get a hand in his face, made him older, he shot, and 
really uh, <laughs> a bad looking shot when yeah, Oliver did. Slide the rim, didn't even touch it. Perez, left wing. Holds behind the arc, bounce pass to Holland, over the top to Lee. Bounce pass to Bennett, drives the baseline, back to the way in against Benson, picks up the dribble. Down little Reinhold, wrap around pass to Perez, he puts it in for two. Ben Perez with two more, and it's 36 29. Rochester the lead, 50 seconds into the third quarter. Darnell right side to Shepard. Over the top to Darnell. Thought about a three, passes up, loses the handle at the timeline. Almost lost it to Holland and picks the loose basketball up on the uh, Rochester side of the 10 second line. Sends right side now to Peretti. To Wilcox, goes to the basket, throws up a shot, it's good. Wilcox has seven now. Perez. Out to Reinhold, thought about a three, gives the Holland between the rings, right side to Lee. To per, uh, Perez on your side, has his pass picked off by Peretti. Peretti jumps the passing lane, and he has it stolen from behind by the Reinhold, and Reinhold couldn't save him going out of bounds. It'll stay with Justin baseline right. Randy went on David the Musselman. Benson will look to trigger it in for the Jays, baseline right. Gets it into Peretti. Top to Shepard. Left side of Wilcox. Stands behind the arc on the left wing against Rochester's man-to-man -man defense. To Peretti, to Shepard. Shepard, one dribble to his left. Gives to Wilcox. Three right wing is in and out and back in. And the Rochester lead now down to two at 36-34. He's got all five in this quarter. The Probably should have had seven if he wouldn't have flown that layup. Trying to hold top of the key. One dribble to his left to Lee. Looking back to Holland, can't get him. Out of Ben Perez on the right wing behind the uh, three-point line. Bounce pass to Bennett, back to the way in. Gavin foul on the shot, he'll go to the line to shoot two. I believe Shepard gonna pick up that foul for the Blue Jays. And that will be his third. And that's first of the half. Bennett going back to the line where he is two for four. Two minutes gone in the third quarter, Rochester by two. Bennett eyes the first one, lets the fly and it's good for the senior. One more coming as Brett Abbott back into the game. And Perez will come out. Elsie back in for the Jays. Shepard to come out. 5.53 to play, third quarter. 37-34 Rochester. Bennett the line for one more. Gavin's second one is good again. He's got 16. Darnell. Pushes across to Wilcox, back to Darnell, right side of the floor, behind the volleyball line on the right wing. One dribble to his right, hands off to Peretti. Peretti drives it left, gives it to Elsie. Elsie takes the lead to the left baseline, out to Darnell, long three for the Jays, no good. Offensive rebound by Wilcox, put back is no good. Bennett comes out of there with it, and then he has the ball knocked away by Elsie. It's going to be out of bounds, the last touch by Bennett. Oh, wow. Well. Actually, I think I'll be, I'm okay with that call because Bennett literally pushed Elsie to the floor, <laughs> no call. So if it means Justin gets the basketball back after that, I'm okay with that. Yeah. Missed the foul, so I guess trade, wow. trade yeah. one out. Abbott then intercepts the inbound pass, hesitates, goes to the basket hard, throws him a shot, good to foul! Good move, good attack by Bennett, or excuse me, by Abbott. Brett Abbott will go to the line to shoot one, looking to push this lead back to seven with a freebie. And Freddie picks up his third, team second. 521 to play in the third. Brett Abbott at the line to shoot one for the Z's. Free throws good. It's 41 to 34. Rochester back by seven. Biggest lead has been nine. Freddie in the right wing. Over the top to Darnell. Left side to Elsie. Now to Wilcox. Wilcox. Now to Freddie near the timeline. Right side to Elsie. Elsie against Lee. Looking down a little Benson. Good defense by Bennett. And then the pass of the uh, ball is thrown away by Reinhold. Jordan Reinhold. Right-handed layup on the way. It's good and a foul. Boy, he was begging for that contact and Justin gave yeah. it to him and he'll go to the line to shoot one. And a foul coming on Elsie, his first team third. And North Justin will use a timeout. It will be a 30. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI.
Just under five to play in the third quarter. Rochester now out to a nine-point lead at 43-34. And Jordan Reinhold at the line for Rochester, looking to push this lead to double digits for the first time tonight. Reinhold, first time to the line. He's got five points looking for his six. Jordan, one free throw. And it's good. And it's 44-34, back into the game is Thomas. And Peretti checks out for the Jays. Randy Whittem, David Muffelman. Final game of the regular season for the Zebras. They'll have a week off before traveling to Manchester next Wednesday, weather permitting, to play Oak Hill. Peretti, well, by then Darnell. it should be melted. Then we'll have a flood. <laughs> Darnell high on the right wing. Works against the man-to-man -man defense to Thomas. Thomas against Abbott. Now Elsie. Elsie drives it left hard. His pass is picked off by Holland. And now to Lee. Lee picks up the basketball, gives back to Alex. Nice athletic move by Alec Holland. Right hole for three. Left wing is good. And Rochester now out by 13 at 47 to 34. Timeout. Justin, it's a 60. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI. seconds to play in the third quarter. Rochester out to their biggest lead of the night of 13 to 47 to 34. And Randall, you have timeouts. Uh, no, I'm flacking. It is just like working with Tony. Yeah. I mean, you know. Actually, I think I think it's more like Brad. Tony keeps timeouts. Oh. Well, I know he's used at least three. So he's probably got two left. <laughs> Rex hasn't used any. So I know I'm going to get five up left. here in a little bit by Tony. My fault. Okay. It was Brad. He's going off already. Foul down low on Abbott, and that's going to send the freshman Benson to the line to shoot two. And that'll be Abbott's first team, first of the half. Benson has four points on the night. 4 of 5 to play in the third quarter. Rochester leading 47 to 34. Benson, first free throw, good looking stroke by the freshman, is good. He's got uh, five now. His first trip to the line. Okay. One more coming for Benson, looking to push this uh, or cut this Rochester lead to 11. Second one on the way is good again. A little token man to man pressure put on by North Justin. Abbott to Holland. Gets it across to Lee. Now wrap around past the right hold quickly to Holland on the right wing. Alex, one dribble, gives it to Abbott. Abbott against Shepard. Free throw line to. Lee, his turnaround jumper is good at the elbow. Six for Lee. 49-36. 3.40 to play in the third. Rochester now back in that 2-3 zone, but they're it out to the volleyball line. Uh, maybe not. Maybe we're running the box in one. We are with Abbott chasing Dar Thomas. Left side to Shepard. Three left wing for the Knights, or for the Jays is good. 3.20 to play. Third quarter, 49-39. Rochester lead down to 10. Holland to Lee. Wilson Lee dribbles around the traffic, gives to Reinhold, no look pass to Perez. Layup is good. Nice ball move by the Zebras. Ben Perez is the recipient of a good pass from Reinhold. And it's back to a 12-point lead for Rochester. Perez with eight. Right side pass to Wilcox in the corner to Darnell. Man-to-man -man defense now by the Zebras. Right side to Thomas, takes the three, drives it left a couple of times. Picks up his dribble, out to Darnell, right in front of the coaching staff on the right wing. Back to the man-to-man -man defense for Zebras. And now we're going to have a foul down low on Perez. I'm not sure what they were waiting for. Perez and and uh, Benson were tied up for uh, uh, at least five to eight seconds. Yeah. No call. 
and yeah, they, even when Benson was trying to shoot the ball, there was still no call. I'm not sure what they were looking at. No, it was not quite obvious that he had him fouled because he, he was like two deer locked in with horns. Yeah. They, uh, they weren't going anywhere. They weren't separating. Freddie back into the game for Justin. Zach Deshaun checks in for the first time tonight for Rochester. Alec Holland will come out. 2.41 to play in the third. Rochester up by a 12 at 51-49. to Darnell to Thomas, left side to Wilcox. Wilcox against the man-to-man -man defense, goes to the basket, throws up a tough shot and it goes in. And the lead Jack back down to 10 for Rochester at 51-41. He's got 12, Wilcox. Perez has his ball batted away, Stephen going out of bounds by Peretti, gives to Darnell. Darnell through the center circle. Right side to Wilcox against Lee. Feeds down a little Benson. Benson against Perez. Uh, his baby hook jumper short. Lost that. Of the rebound. I think he lost that yep. one as he turned around and put it up. Two minutes to play. Third quarter. Jump, stop to Lee. Outside to Deshaun. Down low to Perez. Brady against the triple team. Out to Deshaun left wing. Zach drives to the left baseline. Down low to Perez. He puts up the jumper and it's good. Tim Perez. Pretty good body control down low because he was getting banked hard by Benson. <laughs> He's and got 10 now. 100 seconds of play in the third quarter. Rochester back by 12. Peretti to Wilcox. Outside to Darnell to Thomas. Quickly to Peretti. Loses the basketball. Abbott on the floor along with Benson. And they're going to have a tie up. It'll stay with North Judson as Gavin Bennett comes back into the game. And Gavin replaces Ben Perez to Zebras. Shepard also back in for the Blue Jays. 92 seconds to play, third quarter. Rochester up 53-41. Darnell looking to get it in over the top of the defense to Thomas. Thomas left side to Darnell. Three left baseline for the Jays is good. That's his third three. He's got nine. 53-44. Rochester the lead. A minute 15 to play, third quarter. Lee right side to Reinhold. Lobs it into Bennett. Bennett in the paint, rises up, puts the sh touch shot up, no good, gets his own rebound. Ball still loose in the paint and taken away by Shepard. Boy, you don't see very many people out muscle Gavin Bennett. Shepard just did there. Yeah. Foul well, on the arm kind of helped a little bit, I think. Bill Co Wilcox, long two is no good. Ryan holds his rebound. Ahead to Abbott. Abbott, right handed layup is good. 55 44. So trying to still near the official right in front hey, of us. How good is Gavin Bennett right now? He's going to play defense with a contact in his left hand. He's got his contact between his pointer and his thumb, <laughs> holding the basketball, playing defense. Darnell for three for the Jays. No good on the back of the rim. No, we're going to say good. Bounced around three times and went in. I beg your pardon. <laughs> that thing, it did. Bounced forever. So trying to hold one to 30. Yeah, so we can get that contact in Gavin Bennett's eye. 20 seconds to play, third quarter, 30 second timeout. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI. And a half seconds to play, third quarter. Rochester up by eight at 55 47. Winamac 46, Casting 31 at the end of three. Thank you, Val. Little Val, he's always got the score. Brady Perez in the game for the first time. Gavin Bennett checks back in as well after having a contact issue. Jump pass is picked off by Shepard. Shepard with two, Darnell with one. Darnell fouled before the buzzer and before the shot. It'll be out of bounds to the Blue Jays. At the far side of the timeline with 0.8 seconds to play in the third quarter. Abbott picks up his second, team third. That's an inbound across the way. Shepard looks to get it in. 0.8 to play in the third. Gets it in to Wilcox, and they're not going to get a shot off. Oh, yeah, there's 0.8 to play. Huh, oh, yeah. all about that. Thanks, Coach. After three, Rochester up 55-47. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI.
more than the final quarter we go. Rochester owning an eight-point lead, and they'll start the fourth quarter of the basketball. Zach Deshaun gives them the corner to Holland. Downloaded Gavin Bennett. Rises up, puts it in. Uh, nope, misses it again. Stays in going out of bounds, but right in the hands of Justin. And then Jordan Reinhold just take, took one in the left eye. Ball loose from the floor, and Alec Holland's going to be calling the reach in. Boy, Alex, Gavin Bennett doesn't miss. Shots that close. Holland going to pick up his first team fourth. Baseline right are the Jays. Big three here will make a big difference. Yep. Judson. Darnell looks at the three, passes it up, has it out to Wilcox. He travels, no call. Ball loose in the floor, down low to Benson. He's fouled on the shot. He'll go to the line to shoot two. See, they're going to be Bennett or Reinhold. We'll wait and see who they whistle on. They're going to get Bennett for his third. Team fourth. Lee will come back in for the Zebras. As Benson at the line to shoot two for the Jays. Rochester by eight at 55-47 with seven and a half to play in the game. He's two for two. So far. Benson's first free throw is good. Lee in. Bennett out. Don't forget, next Wednesday night, sectional begins for the Rochester Zebras. As they will have Oak Hill in the uh, second game Wednesday night. Lewis Cass and Northfield in the first one, I believe. Second one is good again by Benson. Big game. I mean, it's, yeah. you know, I guess a huge team. Yeah, I very mean, huge. Tall. Not because they're ranked <laughs> in the top three, because they are big. They are big. Like and athletic said. and basketball players. Yeah. Holland has his pocket picked by Thomas. Thomas and then is driven to the floor hard by Reinhold. 55-49, Rochester up, 7-15 to play in the basketball game. Reinhold picking up his second team, six. I think Alec got uh, mugged. <laughs> That's what I think Coach Reinhold was asking. What about the uh, other end foul? Elsie looks to get it in. Just so did Darnell. Darnell jump pass down a little bit, and he rises up and puts it in for two. Now Rochester lead, one to 13, is down to four, with a minute gone in the fourth quarter. Holland, right side to Deshaun, tipped out of bounds, thankfully, by Darnell. And it'll stay with Rochester on the far side as Brett Abel will come back into the game. And Zach Deshaun to come out. Zebras are standing. They're trying to say, hey, let's go motion, move it. Everybody's standing. Uh, you read the eyes where they're fast, and that's uh, how well, that tip got away. Gavin Bennett comes back in. And Brady Perez to come out. They only helped Bennett to two points at the uh, third quarter. He's got 16, well, he had 14 and a half. And you so. can actually hang on their arm. Yeah. He's not going to get many shots to go. We'll see if he can uh, turn it back on here in this quarter. Gavin Bennett rises up and puts it in for two. That thing bounced around three or four times on the rim and fell through. And I thought I was going to sit there. I did too. <laughs> Rochester back by six, 57-51. Wilcox down to Benson. is stolen by Bennett. Nice job by Gavin Bennett jumping the passing lane. Picked that one off. Gives to Reinhold through the center circle. Six and a half to play in the game. Lee, right side to Abbott. Brett directs traffic top of the key and throws it away. Into the hands of Wilcox. Right-handed layup is good. And the lead is back down to four. He has 14 now. Jordan to Holland. Alex, left wing to Jordan, top of the key, right side to Abbott. Abbott a couple of dribbles. Now to Lee on the right wing. Wilson Lee looking down low. Gives it out to Bennett. I mean Abbott to Reinhold. He loses the basketball. Reinhold gets it back. They're going to say a jump ball. It's going to be a jump ball. Yeah. Not a foul. Not a... I think he uh, got mugged on that one as well, but... So, the scorer's table has it. Good touch and ball. And that's the way it's going to stay. So, Rochester up by four. 5.50 to play in the game. Justin with the basketball. Darnell brings it up the floor. Across the timeline. Right side to Thomas. Thomas against the man-to-man -man defense. One dribble to his left to Darnell. Long three for the Jays is good. And Rochester's leads down to one at 
Bennett rises up. Good to foul. Keep giving him the basketball. I'm not sure if uh, Jordan is seen completely fully out of that left eye. Yeah. Fouls on Benson, his first team four. Gavin Bennett at the line for one free throw. The senior connect. And the lead is back to four for Rochester. Five and a half to play in the game. Zebra's up 60-56. Give him 21 to Bennett. Wow. <laughs> Thomas, 2-3 zone by the Zebras. Ball picked off by Reinhold. Jordan let Reinhold. Left-handed free throw layup is no good, but a foul coming on Wilcox. It's going to send Reinhold to the line to shoot two. It's going to be Wilcox first, team fifth. Then Perez will come in at the first free throw. Jordan at the line to shoot two. What are Jordan's numbers tonight? Jordan has nine points. Two threes, a two, and a free throw. And tell me again the timeout. Oh, about that many. Jordan, first one. Good for the sophomore. Jordan has 10. 61 56. Ben Perez in. Alec Holland is to down. How many zebras and doubles? Three. Brady Perez comes back in for Rochester and Wilson Lee to sit down. Randy went up, David Musselman. 5.15 to play in the basketball game. Rochester's lead back to five at 61 56. One more freebie for the sophomore, Jordan Reinholdt. I think Rochester has four timeouts. Second one is for the sophomores. Good again. 62-56. Darnell pushes up the floor for the Blue Jays. Rochester in the 2-3 zone. Extended out to the volleyball line. Justin has two. Dave, thank you. Yeah. Thomas to Darnell. Back to Thomas, right wing. Against the double team. Out to Darnell. Swings left side to Wilcox. Quickly to Benson. Benson loses the handle. Picked up by Bennett. Gavin Bennett now to Reinhold. Under five to play in the basketball game. Rochester up 62-56. Right side to Abbott. Brett in the paint, and he travels. Yeah. He'd been better off going right on up the first time when he wanted to. Shepard back in the game for Jays, and Elsie comes out. Elsie's been quiet here in the second half. He had 10 at halftime. Thankfully. Still has 10. 4.47 to play in the game. Rochester up 62-56. Justin Basketball. Thomas to the center circle. Works to the right wing. Goes to the basket. Ball loose to the floor again. Picked up by Reinhold. Rochester the numbers. Cross court pass to Brady Perez. And he throws it off the foot of Darnell. And out of bounds. It'll stay with the Rochester baseline left. Abbott will look to trigger it in baseline left. Brett Study gets it into Reinhold. Jordan. Drives it right at the elbow. Pull-up jumper short. Nothing but air. Bennett with the rebound. After Brady Perez. Perez jumps top of the free throw line. Out to Abbott. And Brett will reset at the timeline. 4.20 to play in the game. Rochester by six. Brady Perez. Top of the key to Ben Perez. And then Ben Perez throws it away. Wilcox. Coast to coast. Battle the shot. He'll go to the line to shoot two. And yeah, that's going to be Perez's third. Team yeah. number seven. Which will mean from now on, yep, Justin at the free throw line. Wilcox to the line to shoot two. His first trip tonight. First one's good. They haven't missed many. Wilson Lee in. Then Perez out. 4-12 to play in the game. Rochester's lead is five. One more freebie coming for Wilcox. The 5'10 freshman for the Blue Jays. Second one is good again. Elsie comes back in the game. Elsie's going to replace Shepard. Randy went up, David Musselman. Full court press now by the Jays. Right hole will look to trigger it in. 62-58. Rochester lead. 4-10 to play. 9 for 12 right no. now, Justin. Preserve. That's three more than I thought they missed. Reinhold through the center circle, picks his way through the defense. Slot pass to Bennett. Rises up, gets the pass now to Reinhold, left wing, back to Abbott in the center circle. Brett directs traffic against the man-to-man -man defense. Now to lead the volleyball line to the right wing. Now to Brady Perez. Brady Perez gives to Reinhold. Jordan jump pass down low to Bennett. And it goes out of bounds. Jordan did a good job getting the defense to suck up on him. And the pass goes off the hands of Gavin Bennett out of bounds. 3.49 to play in the game. Rochester nursing a four-point lead at 62-58. He was in that 2-3 zone now. Darnell high on the right side to Thomas. Bounce pass to Wilcox. To a cutting. Elsie, his shot. Good foul. 
Brett Abbott's going to pick up the foul, and Elsie will go to the line. Try to cut this Rochester lead to one. And that's going to put Abbott at number three. And team number eight. So Holland back in the game. Abbott will come out. 3.36 to play in the basketball game. Rochester leads 62-60. And Elsie at the free throw line for one for the Jays. Elsie's got 12. Elsie, a right-handed free throw shooter. Dribbles one, sets up, lets it fly. It's no good. And the rebound to Brady Perez. Brady rips and runs for the Zebras. Lee, left wing to Reinhold, or to Holland. Back door to Reinhold. Jordan to Brady Perez. Brady right baseline, cut off by the defense. Outside to Bennett. Now to Wilson Lee, left side now to Holland. 3.15 to play in the game. Reinhold, left block, spinner, jumper, good. 64-60, Rochester back by four, three to play in the game. He's got 13 now, Reinhold. Thomas across the timeline, under three to play. Rochester by four. Like Randall said a moment ago, Justin will shoot free throws from here on out. Darnell's three is no good. Right hold the rebound. Jordan grabs and runs. Ahead to Holland, left wing. Holland runs over Darnell. That's an awful call. That's an awful that call. Is. He's got to give Holland a chance to land. That's an awful call. That's going to be Alex second, team ninth. Yeah, not even just landing, but he wasn't even square. Uh, he, he was sideways. He turned with him. Not quite sure what, he, what the official was looking at on that one. That was right in front of us. That's that an awful call. 64 60, 238 to play in the game. Wilcox, left side to Elsie. Elsie fakes right, goes left, goes to the basket, throws him a tough shot. No good, a lot of contact, no foul. That might be a little makeup. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Reinhold now, across the timeline to Holland High on the right side. Alex, one dribble to Brady Perez. Long free through for the Zebras is no good. Bennett rises up. He's fouling the shot. Who's going to line number two? And that foul is going to come on the Blue Jays. Who they end up getting? They get uh, Chucky Wilcox for his second team. Six. 2.17 to play in the game. Rochester up 64-60. Gavin Bennett with two for the Z's. First one away for the seniors. Short. One more coming. Shepard back in. Elsie comes out. Elsie's got to stay on the floor, Randall. Yeah, Elsie's got to stay on the floor. And he got, I think he's going to go get just a oh, yeah, rest of right. there. He got right off. Yeah. He got clobbered down at the other end, getting he called. It, and he had, it, that right arm is hanging, yeah. so you know it's hurting him. That, that was initiated back in the first quarter when he went hard. Second one's too hard for Bennett. Rebound to Shepard. He gives to Darnell. 2 10 to play in the game. Rochester still by four, 64 to 60. They had a 13-point lead late in the third quarter. Darnell for three, right wing for the Jays is good. 64-63. Rochester down to a one-point lead with 150 to play in the game. Lee, left wing. One dribble to the baseline. Outside to Holland. His three is blocked by Shepard. Picked up by Darnell with 100 seconds of play in the basketball game. Rochester by one. Last time Justin led, it was like five to four. Yeah. Darnell to Benson, looks back door to Thomas, out to Darnell. Left wing against Holland. Feeds down little Benson. Turn around jumper over Bennett. It's short. Gavin with the rebound. Underhand pass to Brady Perez. He gets it across the timeline. And we're going to have a timeout by the Rochester Zebras with a minute 18 to play in the game. 60. It's the 60. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI.
minute 18 to play in the basketball game. Rochester leads 64-63. After their timeout, it'll be out of bounds to the Zebras right in front of the Rochester bench. Got a football score for you. Brew 34, North Miami 9. At the break. At the half. No, oh, that's basketball. Just low scoring for one team. Are you kidding? Basketball? Yeah. In February? That might sound like a football score. Oh, yeah, Michael. Michael. It's going to be a snow storming in February for long. Holland around Thomas. Out to Lee. A minute eight. The one dribble to his left. Just about lost the handle. Gives to Holland now with a minute five. Zebras will be shooting. Right hold high on the right side of 59 seconds. Rochester by one, 64-63. Reinhold, left elbow out to Abbott with 52. Over the top to Lee with 50. Wilson Lee gives to Reinhold with 47. Jordan picks up his dribble, now to Lee with 45. Back to trying, Reinhold. Trying not to foul, but I think they're going to have to. Well, when you have two hands on a player, Abbott to beat Gavin Bennett. His shot no good, a lot of contact, no foul. Wow. 30 seconds. Timeout, North Justin. 30 seconds of play in the game. Rochester by one. It'll be North Justin basketball. We'll take a 30-second timeout. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI. Four seconds to play in the game. Rochester leads 64-63. After the missed shot, Justin got the ball back to the timeline, and they used the timeout. Randall timeout. They have one left. Rochester has three. Randy went on David Musselman. You can probably almost guarantee Darnell will be looking for the shot. He has been hot this half. Well, this game. Yeah, exactly. And uh, right now they're four from four this quarter on free throws. Darnell has uh, all his points coming from threes. George Chuck with a double bonus. 18 what? Point. 18 points. All of them on threes. Shepard to get it in right in front of his own bench. Shepard looking back to the Wilcox, but gives to Darnell at the Rochester volleyball line. He'll cross the timeline with 25. Picks up his dribble. Out to Thomas with 20. Thomas dribbles to the left. Out to Darnell with 18. Darnell works against Holland. Rochester by one. Game coming to an end. 14 seconds. Thomas with 11. Outside to Shepard with nine. And now we're going to have a, the final timeout used by North Justin. Nine seconds of playing the game with the 60. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI. Uh, Blue Jays, set, time. Point three to play in the game. Rochester leads 64-63. Judson has zero timeouts. They have nothing left. It'll be their basketball on the far side at the volleyball line. Rochester has three timeouts left. Randy went on David Musselman. Shepard will inbound the pass. And now Rochester will use a timeout. So it's a 30. It's to a 30. Yeah, they set it up here. We'll keep it right here. Some scores from around the area, Randall. Well, we're still at uh, halftime at uh, Winnemac. Oh, final. Winnemac 71, Caston 49. Winnemac and Pioneer will share the uh, new conference, the Hoosier North Athletic Conference title. Boy, you, you never knew. You never know how much one player is going to affect the team after you lose them until it happens. And Colin McGee going down has affected the Winnemac Warriors. Oh, big time. We talked to Coach... Uh, Coach uh, Kyle on that one every Saturday morning and you know there's guys that are stepping up but they still just can't 
fill in that presence of, of that. Through 52, North Miami 15 at After the end three. of the third. 9.3, here we go. Rochester has two timeouts. Justin zero. Shepard to look to inbound. Gets it to Darnell, the Rochester volleyball line. Darnell through the center circle with six. Dribbles to the right side with five. Has the ball tipped away by Holler, picked up by Lee with 2.7. And a foul on Justin Lee will go to the line to shoot one of the bonus. And a foul, like you say, coming. Darnell went around Holland. Holland kind of baited him, went around Holland. Holland picked his pocket from behind, pushed the ball away, and right there was Wilson Lee to pick up the loose ball and grab the uh, basketball and get fouled, and he'll go to the line to shoot one of the bonus. Darnell, second team, seven, so yeah. Big free throws here, uh, just kind of. 2.7. Lee, free throw, good. Rochester up by two at 65 63. Lee with one more with 2.7 to play in the game. Wilson Lee eyes a second one, lets it go. No good. Rebound to Shepard. To Darnell. Three quarter corner at the buzzer for the win. Nothing. No good. Rochester holds on to win here on the road. 65 63. You're listening to Zebra Basketball 92.1 WROI. 